My father and my grandfather used to tell me as a young boy, if somebody's making something, they have to measure it. And that's what our forte is. The company was founded in 1880, 129 years ago, and we're very proud of our American heritage. Our reputation from Athol, Massachusetts, is known throughout the world. The founder, L. S. Starrett, was able to produce many tools that had broad applications, but he also recognized that many people had specific applications that needed to be solved on the shop floor. So it's uh, in our DNA to solve problems. We think our special gauge division and our special order division set us apart from our competition because we're going to provide specific solutions for our customer base that none of the competition can do. You need a lot of experience to build gauges. If a part tolerance is one thousandth, the gauge tolerance is one ten thousandth. Sometimes it's down in twenty, thirty millionths of an inch. Over the past uh, fifty years, we've done probably twenty-five thousand gauges out there, and they're all unique. There are very few industries that we don't touch. People ask the question of uh, what do we measure, and I tell them just look around. A hamburger company calls and needs to know how thick a hamburger patty is and the next minute it's somebody calling regarding ICBM missiles. Anything they can see around them we've had calls on and we've made gauges for them. Aerospace is number one. Area flow gauging make sure that the engine is balanced. Medical, knee joints, there's a lot of different measurements that have to be taken there. Military, body armor, they have to be certain shape, fit certain size people. Food containers, ice cream containers, coffee cups. You have to make sure that lid's going to stay on with hot coffee. We really are touching anything and everything in the manufacturing world. Today, with computers, the internet, we're able to touch so many more people through technology that we're really able to turn uh, design gauges around quicker. We can get a much more accurate feel for what is needed in a much faster time frame. It's usually like a quality um, engineer at the companies that will call. They know Starrett. They've got plenty of Starrett tools in their facilities. And they like them, so they call us. It's the first thing they want to know is, do you do special gauging? And we say yes. We come up with custom solutions all the time. Our people understand it's important to make sure that all the design features and what they're trying to accomplish is clearly understood on both sides of the table. We won't provide a quote until we're sure that we thoroughly understand the best way to solve the problem for the customer. So it's a lot of back and forth, phone calls, sending sketches back and forth, CAD files that we can actually interrogate quickly, design around, are we on the right track in the design process. A lot of gauges nowadays, people want uh, to have access to the data and not use cables. So we have that ability in a lot of our gauges. And a lot of time it's a trip to the customer to actually see the application. There's nothing better than face-to-face -face communication to tie down all the little idiosyncrasies that go into these gauges. Pricing is a fixed price right up front, and we usually abide by it. Sometimes we run a little over, but we don't pass it on to the customer. And before we will build anything, the customer has final approval. Once it's built, it will go through inspection. Most of our gauges have masters, and they duplicate the part just precisely. And for certain applications, then we fly back and instruct the customer on exactly how to use the gauge properly and provide the documentation that if somebody walked in and didn't know how to use the gauge, they would know how by just reading the documentation. So the rewarding part of special gauging in LS Derrick would have been very proud that it taken his philosophy, go into customers, talk engineer to engineer, to understand the problems that they're having, and to come back, put pen to paper, be able to have a continual dialogue in coming to them with the best solution that we can provide at the best possible price. And that's the crux of uh, what we try to do here every day.